So when people come in to the study centre, we put them through a series of physical measurements and what they do when they come in, we do their blood pressure and we measure blood pressure because it gives us an idea of their cardiovascular health. Um, we measure both sitting height and standing height to give us an idea of their body proportions. We also look at waist and hip circumference and waist circumference, so measurement around see how wide your waist is, gives us an idea of how much fat people are carrying in their abdominal area. And with hip circumference, we get an idea of the ratio between their waist and hip. We measure people's weight and their percent body fat. The next one is grip strength. So with grip strength, you squeeze, it's called a dynamometer. So you squeeze it and it measures how much force you're pushing on it. We collect biological samples from the participants and they give us a urine sample and a blood sample. And at this point, we are not running any tests on those samples. We're putting them into small tubes and we're storing them in a freezer that goes down, keeps the temperature at minus 80. So the idea is that we can store these samples for a long period of time so that when we do want to look at something, we can follow those samples and analyze them then.